So fasten your seatbelts now. We got turbulence and plenty of it here in Candlestick Park now. Everything hangs in the balance now. The season, the outcome of the Super Bowl berth hangs in the balance. Montana rolling out the right, looking toward the end zone, throwing under pressure, throws his pass, caught by Clark. Clark out of touchdown. Clark Clark has it. It's a touchdown for the 49ers. It was known simply as the catch. But from among the thousands and thousands of plays in the history of the San Francisco 49ers franchise, it was the play that launched a dynasty. Two weeks later, the 49ers won the first of four Super Bowl trophies that they would collect in a nine-year span. During the decade of the 1980s, the 49ers were the cream of the crop, while the Dallas Cowboys sank to the bottom of the barrel. Eventually, Dallas's dismal record led to the retirement of the only coach the Cowboys had ever known, Tom Landry. In 1989, Cowboys owner Jerry Jones hired his old college chum, Jimmy Johnson, and through astute drafting and free agent signings, they rebuilt the team. By 1992, the Cowboys were on the brink of another championship. Nineteen eighty nine was also the year George Seifert had taken over the coaching reins from Bill Walsh. In nineteen ninety two, the forty niners were a team in transition too. Future Hall of Fame quarterback Joe Montana missed almost the entire season, and Steve Young spent his first year as the Niners starting quarterback. San Francisco went fourteen and two during the regular season. And with a 20 to 13 playoff victory over the Redskins, the 49ers advanced to the NFC Championship game. Meanwhile, in Dallas, the Cowboys defeated the Eagles 34 to 10 in the other divisional playoff game. In 1989, Dallas had won only one game all year. Now, just three short years later, the Cowboys were one step away from their ultimate goal. Super, super job! You are one game away from the Super Bowl. Yeah! The 1992 NFC Championship. Changing of the guard. In the 1980s, the San Francisco 49ers reigned as the team of the decade. This 1992 NFC Championship game would determine whether the dynasty would continue or if it was time for a new sheriff in town. You always hear that analogy, be careful what you ask for because you just might get it. And we got it. We got what we wanted, and that was to be in the NFC Championship game with a chance and a shot to play for the Super Bowl. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Field of Streams, Candlestick Park, the NFC Championship game between the San Francisco 49ers and the Dallas Cowboys. A matchup so exquisite it may make this year's Super Bowl anticlimactic. While most highly touted contests rarely live up to their expectations, this rain-soaked battle at San Francisco's Candlestick Park would prove to be the exception. Two rosters, saturated with all pro talent, read like a future Hall of Fame induction ballot, where the pool of modern-day legends flowed deep into the depth chart, and young careers began their climb to greatness. The 64,920 fans that braved that wintry Sunday afternoon were about to experience one of the NFL's greatest games. good with you. And so we didn't look at it as, uh, uh, boy, this heavyweight fight, these two great teams. And, you know, we, we said, hey, we're playing a great football team here, and, and aren't we fortunate to even be a part of this whole thing?
it's a tail. Well, Staubach said he was going to call tails. We missed it a little bit, but I think he called heads. And the 49ers are going to get the ball first, Brett. It's a little bit wet on the turf, and it's raining a little, and it's time to play. And here we go. It'll be taken by Logan at the six. Brings it up the right hash mark, makes a cut, and falls down at the 22-yard line. Nobody really tackled him. He slid underneath uh, uh, Tommy Agee, who sort of bumped him down. But it's a 16-yard return, and San Francisco goes on offense. And the 49ers at the 21 will throw a three-step drop, and Young's pass is caught for a first down by Brent Jones, the tight end, who caught it up at the 35-yard line. So the 49ers on their very first play go against what they've been doing lately, throwing the ball to the left side. They went through against their tendency and threw the ball to the right side that time. Steve Young threw about 75 to 80 percent of his passes against the Redskins to the left side last week. And Wayne, Kevin Smith has hurt his arm. He's already left the game. That means they bring in Isaac Holt, a veteran cornerback who had the starting job till Smith took it late in the season. Here's a handoff to Waters. Breaks to the outside. Not much room. He's not going to get anything. He has pushed out of bounds along the near sideline. And uh, he was knocked out by Brown along with Jones. But second down and eight. San Francisco at its own 37. Waters, Taylor are both receivers out to the left with Rice split out wide to the right against Isaac Holt. Rathman in the backfield. Brent Jones, the tight end, lines up on the right side. And Young is changing the play as Rathman moves over to his left. Here's backside pressure. He gets the ball away. Downfield. a great throw by Steve Young who was getting hit just as he let it go a beautiful touch pass down the middle to Jerry Rice second down wow who was it on it's on McIntyre when I looked up and saw Jerry running down the field I'm going like oh god maybe maybe these guys are that good fortunately for us it got called back but even then uh, I just figured that we dodged a bullet just for that moment. You know, I, I thought it was going to be an aerial show for the whole day. What a momentum, you know, builder for them. For us, uh, I mean, you talk about uh, being deflated. As I look back on that game, that was, in many ways, dictated the, game, this, the tone of the game because we came out, threw a great pass to Jerry, and we got a call for holding on really something that I don't remember Guy McIntyre got called on, and it really wasn't vital to the play. McIntyre, the left guard, and it was a very quick play. You know, you want to put points on the board, so uh, when you have a big play like that just taken away, uh, you know, you lose a little momentum, and I think uh, that basically uh, gave Dallas uh, hope. And will that turn out to be a play that will be an issue the rest of the day? Kevin Smith back at corner on second down. Let's go. Young back, good protection, deep ball down the middle. This one's incomplete with this time Smith in good coverage on Odessa Turner. Odessa Turner complains to the officials. A little bit of booing I'm sure you can hear from the crowd, but that's just very good coverage by Kevin Smith. There wasn't any problem with that. So it's third and 18 at the 27-yard line. Rathman in the backfield. Taylor's out to the left side. Two receivers out to the right. And Young, on a draw, keeps it himself. Cuts to the outside and does get out to the 37-yard line where he's hit by Woodson, a backup safety man. Quarterback draw that time by Steve Young, and they ran it up inside of Charles Haley, who's noted for his outside pass rush. Basically, they didn't have to block him. Just let him go upfield and try to run the play up inside. However, not nearly enough for a first down, and San Francisco will have their first punt of the game. And here's Wilmsmeyer with his punt. A beauty. Wonderful. Inside the 10. Back to get it is Martin. He starts to turn back upfield and he is nailed with a great tackle by Odessa Turner near the 13-yard line. Well, 49 left first quarter. Dallas's first offensive possession starts at its 13. Troy Aikman, the quarterback. Two receivers left, eye formation behind him. First plays a pass. Aikman looks left and throws the ball deep, and it's caught up at the 32 by Michael Irvin. Out in the sand. 
A big 19-yard pass on first down by Dallas. He had Griffin sold that he was going deep on that play. They took him deep and then took it to the sideline, and, and Griffin was heading for the end zone. Tight end, slot right, motion left, and back right. And Aikman fakes the draw, going to throw again, throws right, Johnston's open, 35-40. Knocked off his feet around the 42-yard line by Keith DeLong. I love Johnson, the fullback, if, if you like football. He's a Tom Rathman type player. He only had 18 carries this year, but 32 catches. He's a great blocker and good hands, as you saw there. First and 10 at the 43-yard line. Harper comes out to the right. And it's a handoff to Emmett Smith, who cuts to his left to the outside, and the 49ers are there waiting. Tim Harris dropped them for a loss back at the 41. Third and 12, 49ers go to nickel. Cowboys are in a wing right, slot right, and Aikman's going to throw. Good protection. Steps up, zips it out for Novacek at the 45, midfield, and he's run out short of the first down at the San Francisco 48-yard line. The uh, gain of 11 yards won't be enough, and nickelback Michael Magruder and linebacker Bill Romanowski bump him out. So the Cowboys get out of the deep hole, but Mike Saxon will be asked to kick as the sun breaks through. Saxon will be trying to get it out of bounds inside the 20. Not much rush. Not, oh, there's a high end over end kick. And running up under it, Grant at the 23. He fumbles. Dallas has it back. Johnston got it at the 23-yard line of the 49ers. Dixon Edwards punched it out. Daryl Johnston recovered the fumble. And there's the first big break of the game with 10.05 remaining in the first quarter. This one is just because of a good pop. The ball comes up in the air, and Daryl Johnston just one hands it, Brad. Diving forward, makes the catch, and the Cowboys have the ball with the nose of it, actually, at the 22-yard line of San Francisco. I formation. Knight, a Nova check. The tight end motion right. Aikman, five-step drop. Throws it to Urban. He caught it at the two-yard line on a slant. Right in between Whitmore, the safety, and the cornerback, Eric Davis. Make it Hall. But a perfect throw and a perfect route by Irvin. And Dallas gets 21 on the pass to Michael Irvin. Well, if Aikman's concerned about having problems keeping a tight spiral on a wet ball, it certainly isn't this one. This baby is a blue darter. Irvin just that little slant in move, and it's right on the numbers. I mean, it is smoking and trailing that blue laser smoke. And the Cowboys get it down to the one-yard line first and goal from there. The 49ers, number three in the league, defensively inside the 20. But this is first down and goal at the one. They use a double tight end formation. And it's a handoff to Smith, who is stopped cold at the line of scrimmage. Didn't get anything. Michael Carter right there with a great hit. Maybe lost a foot or two. But the 49ers don't give up very much against the run, and we're seeing why here early. I mean, Michael Carter is a load on the nose of Mark Stepnowski. They have five defensive linemen in, if you include Tim Harris. Big Ted Washington is also in the game, and now it's second and goal at the two. Well, they got to throw it here, I think, Brad. Tight end motion right. Aikman, bootleg right. Throws it to Novacek. Broken up incomplete. A nice play by Merton Hanks. Tried to get him outside. They tried to get him a, a step, send him in motion, and get a step on the defender. But it was played well by the 49ers. Defense! Defense! Now the crucial play is third down. If they don't get anything... Pretty good odds they'll settle for the field goal. Third and goal at the two. Wing right, one wide receiver each way. Aikman straight drop. Stand, sets, chased out of the pocket. Running right, throws it through the back of the end zone incomplete. You actually get that ball down almost to the one-yard line on the first down pass to Michael Irvin. And now they're going to have to settle for the field goal try by Lynn Elliott. 20 yards. Burline holds it on the left pass mark just outside the 10. Dale Hellestray snap is good. The 20-yard kick is up and good. With 8.20 remaining in the first quarter, Dallas has the first lead, 3-0. Great goal line stand. I think we all realized that, that it was going to be a game. The touchdowns were going to be extremely important uh, against a very um, you know, potent offensive football team. And, and not getting a touchdown in that situation, is, uh, you know, we really felt that it would come back and haunt us later. All right, ready for the kickoff now from Lynn Elliott from our left to our right. Logan and Grant are the returners. Logan will get the ball. He takes it near the two. 
Comes up the right side to the 15, gets to the 20, cuts to the outside, he's to the 30, 35, 40, still inbounds, and finally knocked out of bounds, way downfield by Gant. Kevin Gant at the 48-yard line of Dallas. Logan continues to surprise everyone with his speed. He got outside of containment that time and just outlegged the Cowboys. They'll start at the 49-yard line of the Cowboys. Young up under center. Backs are split, and he wants to throw. Little pressure. Throws it out in the flat to Rathman. Down to the 40, and Smith wrestles it out after a nine-yard game. Well, the, the officials are going to measure here to see if uh, Rathman got nine or ten. First down, San Francisco at the 38-yard line of Dallas. Two receivers out to the right, two men in the backfield, nobody out to the left side on first and ten. Handoff to Waters, cuts to the outside, breaks loose at the 30. He's down to the 25 and out of bounds at the 22-yard line, chased out by Larry Brown. That was a delay, a draw play. That was almost Dallas's play. Waters running up inside tackle and then got outside of containment. 16-yard run, very impressive run by Waters. Bryce and Taylor both out to the right. Rathman and Waters in the backfield. Brent Jones lines up on the left. Young, quick pass, left flat. Waters down to the 15. Great spin move. Gets down to the 14-yard line before Vincent Smith makes the tackle. Larry Brown, the cornerback, came up to hit Ricky Waters right after he made the catch. Waters put a spin move on him, and Brown didn't touch him. Came up with air. Waters and Rathman in the backfield. And Young gives it to Waters, who can't find much. He squirmed enough probably for the first down. Uh, they did not get there. It's a, officially a one-yard gain, so they're still a yard short on third down at the 13 of Dallas. The third and one. Out wide to the right is Rice. And now Rathman out of the backfield, and Young himself on a keeper goes right up the middle to the 10-yard line, San Francisco will have a first and goal. Young and the quarterback sneak and the gap on the left side between Guy McIntyre and Jesse Sapolo the center. Rice and Taylor out to the right. Rathman in the backfield. Jamie Williams comes in at tight end on the left side outside. Brent Jones. Now Taylor in motion to the left. Young to throw. Rice has got it at the two. And pushed out of bounds over there by Kevin Smith as he caught the ball. I mean, they are so good. They cross the receivers. Young drops back, looks quickly to his left, and very quickly turns around and throws the ball back out to the right side. Well, he's got great, uh, great receivers to work with on both sides of the ball. The 49ers are now second down and goal at the two. Dallas was first and goal at the two, settled for a field goal. Both receivers out to the left, Rice and Taylor. And it's a handoff to Waters. Cuts outside, cuts inside, gets to the goal line. Knocked back. No touchdown. So that's a two-yard gain. It's actually third down and, a, and maybe eight inches to go for a touchdown. So Waters out to the left. Double tight end. Rathman out of the backfield. Young going to keep it himself. He squeezes in. The 49ers take the lead at 6-3. to three. Same formation that they ran the quarterback sneak just a couple plays ago. Tom Rathman, the remaining back in the backfield, goes in motion to the left. Young keeps it and sneaks over the left side. That time he ended up almost going behind Steve Wallace, the left tackle on that sneak. Here's the snap. Here's the kick. It's up. It's good. San Francisco leads 7-3. to three. Steve Young sneaks it in from the one to give the 49ers a 7-3 lead to 3:49 to play here in the first quarter. Mike Colbert kicks off from our right to our left. Lazy kick hangs up a long time. Martin takes it at the three. Cuts into the middle of the field. He's got a little bit of a lane. And he is finally caught out near the 33-yard line. Begin raining again in San Francisco. Wing left now. Dallas at its 34 to start. Handoff. Smith. No, a reverse. Coming right. It's Harper. There's a block. Hurdles his blocker and is knocked off his feet at the 36 yard line. That was a good fake by Aikman, and Harper started well, but uh, he just didn't seem to be able to do anything with it on the other end. 
Second down and seven now. Dallas at its own 37-yard 37, 37 line. Aikman, a straight drop, wants to throw over the middle. Johnston at the 41. He is still turning to the 44. He might have gotten the first down. And if he did, it's all his own effort. Mike Walter had him at the 41-yard line, and Johnston pulled Walter another three or four yards. First down, Cowboys with 234 remaining in the first quarter, and the Niners leading 7-3. Novacek motion to the left out of the I formation. Eggman a draw to Smith. Bounces out right. He's got tough sledding. Only a couple between the 46 and the 47 yard line. Johnson ahead of Emmett Smith in the eye. And Aikman, in what appears to be a broken play, is buried back at the 37 yard line by Keith DeLong and Bill Romanowski. And Aikman was bobbling it as he came away from center. And then the sack is going to be made by Romanowski and DeLong. Well, yeah, that really is a sack, though, that uh, all begins and basically ends uh, with the exchange from center. Big loss, 10 yards, third and 18. There we go, two receivers out to the left. Delvin Martin's one of them, out to the right side it is Harper. Emmett Smith out of the backfield. And in trouble again, Aikman is sacked another time. Back at the 27-yard line this time. It's by Martin Harrison. Very quick that time. Martin Harrison relies on his quickness and took an inside rush that time on 2 and a the left tackle, to make the sack. Started outside and took it back inside and beat 2 and a cleanly for the sack. On two plays, the Cowboys lost 19 yards, 10 and 9. Back-to-back -back sacks takes uh, Mike Saxon all the way back inside his 15-yard line to kick this ball away. Here's the snap. Here's the punt. Wobbly. Short. Grant's got the ball at the 40. Cuts to the 45. Gets to the 50. Still spinning down to the 47-yard line. 49ers will again start out in Dallas territory. Where you cannot allow the 49ers this good a field position and expect to stay with them. They've got the ability to go 80 yards on you, unlike most teams in the NFL. Slot left and wing right. Rathman is wide to the right. Young back to throw to the right side to Rathman, and he's bumped out by Norton and Smith. And a flag is down late. Someone stuck a hand in there on Rathman after the play was over on the sideline. Face mask foul, number 51, defense. Five-yard penalty. And very, very late. That just shouldn't happen over there. Wing right, both backs behind Young. It's a handoff to Waters. Sweet left. In trouble. Cut back. Stopped at the 40. That's the end of the first quarter. The score, 7-3, to three, San Francisco. We'll be back after these messages. And as the 49ers turn around and go from our left to right, they have a second down and three at the Dallas 40-yard line. Rathman is a wing to the left. Three receivers are a slot right. Young's quick drop, pump, pump, look. Underneath, pass is caught by Rathman. And again, we, we've been talking about it so much here early in the game, but look at how many options he's got. I mean, he's looking right, he's looking right, he's looking deep down the left side, and then he said, oh, the heck with it. I'll just throw the ball underneath to my fullback who's running away from their middle linebacker. I mean, Steve Young, the most valuable player in the league this year, completing 65% of his passes. Young under center on first and ten at the Dallas 33. John Taylor motion to the left. And Young straight drop, deep drop. Here comes Haley. He throws the ball deep. It's broken up at the 20-yard line. That's a nice breakup there by Kevin Smith. It's a good play by the rookie cornerback. Their number one draft choice this year was right there when the ball got there. Reached around, knocked it away, and hit Rice from behind. Three receivers for San Francisco on second and ten. Young with a counter to Waters up the middle. Nice defense by Norton to make the stop. And here's that matchup you talked about on third down. The Cowboys only allow a first down 27% of the time. The 49ers convert a third down 46% of the time. This is a big, big, big first half play. Third down and ten. Niners at the Dallas 32. Rathman the setback. Two receivers left. Young back to throw. Pressure. He runs away. Trip. Jimmy Jones made the play at the 29-yard line. Well, that's athleticism. The pressure was there. They forced him out of the pocket. But then, of course, what happens is with Young, that may be the bad news. But what a play Jimmy Jones made to save a first down. And they're going to try a long one here, Brad. A long field goal try. 47 yards. Kofer has been very inconsistent. Left hash. Good snap. Bono the hold. 47 yards from Kofer. And he didn't get it. He missed it to the left. 
and the 49er fans will have little patience with him. 49ers missed the field goal. Dallas starts at its own 29. Moving right to left, trailing 7-3. Wing left. Aikman's going to throw on first down. Deep to the left. Harper caught this one in front of Don Griffin. Harper's a big receiver. 6'3", 207 pounds, and has that size advantage over everyone in the 49ers secondary. Irvin, Harper, both out on the right, and even Daryl Johnson, the tight end, lines up on the right. Now Harper in motion to the left with Emmett Smith in the backfield. Takes the handoff, makes a nice cut, but he's caught from behind by Tim Harris. Still a little bit short of a first down. Third and less than a yard. Dallas at its 39. Novacek, motion left, eye formation. Aikman, handoff, Johnston. Nice hole for a first down. Up to around the 42. First and 10, Dallas at its 42, trailing 7-3 in the second quarter. High formation, fake draw. Aikman's got time, throws it right. Bad throw, incomplete behind Novacek. Second down and 10, Cowboys at their 42, wing right this time, and Aikman straight drop. Good protection, pass block at the line of scrimmage, incomplete. Well, great protection, it was either Fagan or Harris who reached up and got that right at the line of scrimmage. Third and 10 at the 42-yard line of Dallas, trailing 7-3. to three. Two receivers out to the right. Michael Irvin, the widest. Aikman back to throw. Here comes Brown. He makes the fumble the ball. And Aikman has to land on it. Great play by Dennis Brown. Back at the 38-yard line, Dallas will punt. Brown, the defensive right tackle. With just a, a good speed rush for a guy that's 300 pounds, came off the ball so quick and got around Newton, the all pro guard. So Saxon will have to punt again with 9.44 in the half, no pressure, and this is his best punt of the day. High and deep, and Grant is back at the 14 yard line, comes right up the middle. Clayton Holmes knocks him down at the 23. A 48-yard kick by Saxon, an 8-yard return, and the 49ers maintain control. First and 10, 24-yard line for San Francisco, and a handoff to Waters. Breaks to the outside, breaks tackle, loses the ball. Dallas picks it up. Smith has it, brings it back. He's inside the 30 and out of bounds at the 24-yard line of San Francisco. Ricky had the ball. Um, loosely sometimes so whenever we tackle we want to game tackle and try to reach for the ball or to try to punch it out. When you get two teams evenly matched like what we had uh, the turnovers are going to play a big part. Now that's exactly what happened in that ball game. They recovered one fumble on a punt return and turned that into a field goal and now Aikman's got a slot left, wing left, toss left, Emmett Smith there's a two and a block he's got the 35 yard line. And that's a four-and-a-half-yard game. Novacek, the tight end, lines up on the left. Irvin and Harper are receivers out to the right. Another pitch to Smith. This time goes to the outside, and now he's got a corner to turn, and he's done it. He's way downfield. He's all the way down inside the 20-yard line. And now they've got the thing going their way again. They make a nice move, and again, it was the type of move that I just didn't think we'd be able to see much of today. Emmett Smith starts with an inside move, gets a block, is able to plant his left foot and take it outside. Runs a little softer out there, because that's the sandy part of the field. It maintains his balance. Nice game down to the 20. It's first and 10 at the Niners' 20-yard line. Wing right, now the wing Johnston in motion. Hand off, Smith coming left, the block from Johnston. A cut to the 20, and he's knocked off his feet at the 15-yard line. Now the most important thing from the Cowboys' point of view is that the Cowboys are running. And this is certainly field goal range at the least here. Second and six at the 16. Now Harper in motion to the left, Emmett Smith alone in the backfield. And it's a fake, and Aikman goes to his right. He hits Johnson. He catches the ball. He's got the first down at the 10. Finally hit over there by Romanowski. First and goal at the 10. Backs are split. Urban motion left. Two tight end formation. Straight drop by Aikman looking left. Over the middle, the catch is made at the 7.5 yard line, maybe the 8. formation behind Aikman, second and goal between the seven and the eight. And Aikman with a draw to Smith. Oh, he's clobbered. 
Watch the replay here at the stadium, Brad. Giesick gets turned around on his block a little bit, and as Emmett Smith is moving through the hole, yep. Giesick pops him and knocks him straight backward. And now it's third down and goal from the eight. 7-3, 49ers, 5-20 left in the half. One setback, Smith, a blitz look. Aikman may be changing the play, no blitz. Back to throw, a lot of room to run. Zips it through the back of the end zone, incomplete. There is a flag down. Aikman just threw that ball away because it wasn't there for him in the end zone, but apparently the penalty is going to be against San Francisco from the way Emmett Smith's reacting. Oh, what a big call that is. Yeah, when uh, Troy Aikman ran a play action fake to Emmett, Pierce Holt bought the fake, tackled Emmett, and then they called defensive holding on Pierce Holt as a bad call, and George Seifert was telling the referee as much. Oh, boy. It was a good fake by Troy, and, uh, you know, they called holding on Pierce for tackling the running back. And we're like, you know, he thought he had the ball. formation, tight end Tunnell, motion right. And Aikman handoff, Smith coming left. Johnston got the block and Smith will easily stroll in. Touchdown Cowboys. 5-0-5 remaining to be played in the half and Daryl Johnston's block did it again. It was Bill Romanowski that he took down the uh, linebacker. Johnston just pops him, takes him down, and then it's just an easy little stroll for Emmett Smith for the go-ahead score. The slant left is a play where it's an off tackle to the left or off tackle to the right play, and Daryl Johnson happened to get up on the, the backer and make a great block to spring the outside where everybody else was caved inside. So uh, it was a, a complete walk-in once we got around the outside guy. Another crucial block on Smith's touchdown was provided by Cowboy tight end Jay Novacek, who cut off the pursuit of San Francisco's defensive back, Toy Cook. Jay played because he was a great receiver. You know, he, he never was in the offense because he was a great blocker, but the thing that people don't realize is that Jay, you know, he's a very wiry, tall, lanky uh, player. You know, he was able, able to effectively use his leverage as a, as a tall guy to, to, to at least shield people off, and, and it was effective enough that, that we could still run the ball to his side. Good snap by Hellestray, hold by Burline. The kick has made the score. The Cowboys 10 and the 49ers 7. We got 65 minutes of football. We got five minutes after the damn game. With plenty of enthusiasm and a three-point lead, the Cowboys now had the formidable task of stopping the league's top-ranked offense. And now the Niners start at their own 26. Slot right, back split, Young play action fake, throws it under pressure, Taylor at the 31, and Everett won't let him get away. The play's finally whistled dead. Nice catch! No, good, no, good. Hey, come on, man! Come on, way go, baby! And here comes second down and two. The 49ers are at their own 33. It's an inside handoff to Waters. He breaks away and has the first down at the 40. And then he's knocked off his feet by Tony Casillas and Jim Jeffcoat from behind after he got the first down. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. In the backfield, Rathman and Waters and both receivers out to the right side. Brent Jones lines up on the left. Young, big pressure from Haley. Gets away. Throws the ball downfield. Right catch by right. Stays in bounds for another couple of yards and gets to the 32-yard line. Unbelievable play by Young with two men hanging on him. And Larry Brown quit paying attention to Rice. And the ball went 21 yards and it's caught. Boy, that's an unbelievable catch, though, isn't it, babe? I mean, what a great catch it is by Jerry Rice. That's a great play on both ends. At the 34, Young to throw again. Steps up over the middle, Rathman on a slant, got away from Vincent Smith, and he's got another first down. First and 10 at the 22, Amp Lee is in for Rathman. Young handoff, Lee coming on the right side on the counter at the 20, and he's got the 15 before he's out of bounds, and Kevin Smith can run him out of bounds. Two minutes to play in this first half, and it's been a good one so far. The Cowboys lead 10-7, but the 49ers driving second and four with the ball at the 16-yard line. Uh, Charles Haley's down there talking to his defensive line teammates. Norton turns around and changes the coverage on second down. 
And Young, a three-step drop, he wants to run. Haley flushes him out. Maryland chases him and takes him down head first, but near the first down marker. Charles Haley took an inside move this time, Brad, and gets there. But again, Steve Young's running ability gets him away. He then runs to the outside, fakes a pass one time. Russell Maryland, who can really move, too, for a big man, is chasing from behind, tackles him up high. The helmet comes off, and luckily for Young, his head wasn't in it when it rolled away. Oh, yeah. My goodness, God. what a play. 49ers have moved it from their 26-yard line all the way down to the Cowboys' 12. Here's first down. Young back to throw. Pump swamped up the middle, and Casillas sacks it at the 15-yard line. First time today they've gotten to Steve Young. They put heat on him before, but they hadn't pulled him down. Here's the second down play. Backs are split wide. Now they send Waters in motion left. They run an inside handoff to Rathman. Tackle lost all the way down to the 10 before Everett comes up to get him. That tackle was lost by Tolbert. The 49ers are down here to get points. Time's not their problem. They're going to get, if not the touchdown, the field goal try anyway. So you go ahead, use your timeouts, and then maybe you can get a field goal back in the final minute, 15, minute 20 of the first half. You figure you got to give them the three points at this point, or at least give them the attempt at the right, field goal. Right. So why not give yourself some time to move the ball down the field as well? Third and seven at the nine, but obviously if you don't get a first down here, they'll have to settle for the field goal. Cowboys have gone to nickel, so watch it. Slot right, tight end left. Rathman the setback on third and seven. Taylor motion left. Young straight drop pressure. Pass is blocked at the line of scrimmage. And Charles Haley was the man who got it. What an enormous play for him. You don't think he enjoys that a bit, do you? It's a field goal try, 28 yards for Kofer. On the left hash, high snap. Mono puts it down, and Kofer's kick is good. With a minute 19 remaining in the half, the Kofer field goal has tied the game at 10. Now the Cowboys, without any timeouts, tied with a minute 19 left in the half, will try to get a halftime lead. Kofer's kickoff. It's a short one. It's a bad one. It's to the sideline, and it's out of bounds at the 20. So Dallas will start at its own 35. Yeah, and this is an area the Cowboys have been good in a lot of areas all year long, but I think this has been one of their best. Right before the half, getting something out of it. Here's first down, Aikman with a draw to Smith up the middle, breaks away 40, 45, still going to midfield, 15 yards for Emmett Smith with a minute 10 remaining. How do you like that call? That's How do you like that call? Who would have expected a draw with no timeouts and a minute 19 on the clock? Not the 49ers, obviously, and now they're down to the 50-yard line. Again, slot right, wing right, Aikman straight drop, pressure. Floats it out underneath Smith at the 45, coming right, and wisely gets out of bounds. They need about one good completion, maybe two, and they've got time to get it. Second and five at the San Francisco 45 slot left this time. Smith to set back, Aikman straight drop. Sets with protection, pumps it out. Smith at the 45, coming left at the 40. Gets the first down, looking to the sideline, didn't get it. Got the 35-yard line. They got to hurry and kill the clock. 38 seconds, a gain of nine on that pass to Smith. Now they really have to hurry as they're down to 30 seconds. Aikman's going to run a play, not in any big hurry here. Drills it, kills the clock with 27 seconds. So a 10-yard pass could put him in position to have the lead at halftime. It's a 10-10 game, and here's second down at the Niners, 35. Slot right this time, and Aikman straight drop. Sets, has time. Throws it deep down the sideline. It's caught at the 22-yard line, and Irvin didn't get, get out of bounds to kill the clock with 20 seconds remaining. That's a gain of 14. They almost started to make a mistake. The official runs up and kept the arm pumping, and there was no reason for that. He's on his knees when he catches it and goes straight out of bounds. There was no reason not to stop the clock. 20 seconds remaining in the half, and we're tied in the NFC Championship game. First down, Novacek motion left. Aikman straight drop, pressure. He'll run up out of the pocket and get sacked at the 25-yard line by Tim Harris with 15 seconds. Still in range. The clock has stopped. 
half with 15 seconds remaining. Now they wind it up again. They better hurry. It is uh, second down, and Aikman has to drill it. And with eight seconds left, he'll have third down, but they'll bring in the field goal team. A 43-yard try, but Lynn Elliott's got this range. 43 on the right hand for a halftime lead. Good snap and hold. Kick certainly long enough, but he missed it to the right. That could come back to us. You know, when you're able to move the football against a team, it's, that it's hard to do that against, and uh, every point matters. I don't remember any, at any point in my career when you got down in makeable field goal range and it was missed that uh, I wasn't a little, a little bit disappointed. The 49ers young will take the knee, and this game, this NFC Championship game that everyone thought would be a classic confrontation, sure looks like it, doesn't it? At halftime, the score is the Cowboys 10 and the 49ers 10. The 49ers and the Cowboys are coming back out on the field now for the second half. This is just classic. The 49ers and the Cowboys tied at 10 in the NFC Championship game. Well, the Cowboys are going to have the ball first here in the third quarter. 30 minutes away from the Super Bowl for one of these teams. Man, what a day. Mike Kofer with a very short kick from our left to right, and it's taken by the Cowboys. Kelvin Martin at the 10, and he brings it up across the 20, and then a nice open field tackle is made by Mark Logan, the running back. Outstanding special team work again by Mark Logan, the special team's captain, so it's only right that he does that kind of job. So here we go. Dallas at its own 22-yard line. First play of the third quarter. Aikman throws it in the right flat for Smith. He's got the line of scrimmage, and that's all cornerback and the linebacker get him then at the line of scrimmage Walter and Davis and it'll be second and about nine Run it back! Run it back! You the man, baby. You the man. second and nine and that's a handoff to Smith coming left he's got a seam the 30 the 35 a first down up to the 36 yard line that got Johnston again swinging out and popping him a block with two and a and Newton well this is what Babe Laufenberg was saying in that first quarter Brad you remember when Emmett gets off to a slow start you never give up going back to him. Sometimes it just takes a little while for the blocking and Emma to get into sync and get into their rhythm. But after a, uh, the first two carries of the game, lost four yards. He's now got 60 yards on 11 carries. First down up at their own 36-yard line now. And Aikman straight drop. Harris coming. Aikman throws it over the middle. The interception is dropped at the 50-yard line. He threw it right in the hands of Bill Romanowski. I think the pass was intended for Michael Irving. And, um, you know, I just couldn't, uh, you know, couldn't keep my hands on the ball. Second down now. Aikman handoff. Smith coming right off of Novacek block. He cuts inside. Romanowski dives forward to the 39-yard line. And it's going to be third down and just about seven. They've got just amazingly good footing, though, on the outside, don't they, Brad? I... This field, I it's think not you, effective. You've got to give George Toma a lot of credit. Third and seven, and the crowd's getting into it now as Aikman's up under center. He's got a slot right. Johnston, the only setback. Blitz from the safety. Aikman throws it out. Irvin at the 45 and spinning away left 50. First down to the 49ers, 45-yard line. Great read of the blitz by Aikman and a great move by Irvin. Also reading the blitz to adjust the route and then spinning away after the catch. And on third down, the Cowboys convert a huge first down. Third quarter is just getting going. We're tied at 10. Dallas at the San Francisco, 45, first and 10. Wing right, Aikman back to throw. Sets, looks, deep ball. Right side, a man is there. Harper, it's up in the air, and it's caught at the seven-yard line. All year long, he's thrown that pass, and Harper hasn't caught it until today. When I threw the ball, I thought it was intercepted. I, I, knew, that it, I knew that I didn't get enough on it. I knew it was going to be underthrown. I was just hoping Alvin would break it up and that it, that it wouldn't be intercepted. And then he goes up over the top of the guy and makes really one of the, one of the great catches, I think, in the history of the NFL in a championship game. I mean, that was, that was the stuff you see Lynn Swan doing in Super Bowls. And, uh, and I think that that catch really is what propelled us into having the second half that we were able to have. First down and goal at the seven. They've had first and goal twice today and gotten a touchdown and a field goal. Smith coming right with Johnston in front. He cuts wide to the five, and he's forced out by Hall, the free safety, and Walter and Whitmore. 
Tight end motion to the left. I formation. Niners jumped offside. Hand off Johnston. The fullback up the middle. Breaks the goal line and scores, but there's a flag. The strange thing about it was everything that happened during the play. You know, were we offsides? Uh, had, had San Francisco come into the neutral zone? Uh, you know, as I got the ball and got hit, you know, you, you wait for a second and, you know, you know, waiting for the whistle and, you know, to just decide to keep on going. Offside. Defense. Penalty is declined. Touchdown. A good call by North Turner in a place they don't usually make that call. When you get down inside the, the five, everybody's expecting either Troy to throw the ball or Emma Smith to run the ball. So to run the ball down there with Darrell Johnson was one that I don't think the defense was really ready for. With 10.45 left in the third quarter, Lynn Elliott for the extra point, and his kick is good and makes the score. Dallas 17 and San Francisco 10. 49ers pattern throughout the year is to do the running in the first half and start throwing in the second half. They better think about that. In fact, in a big way now, they trail 17 to 10. First and 10 at the 10. Half to the left sideline is caught. And John Taylor, trying to stay in bounds, stretches for another yard or two. Good play. It's Larry Brown as he catches the ball way out in the left flat one-on-one -on -one coverage. So he ends up with about eight yards. So second and two at the 18-yard line for San Francisco. And it's a handoff to Waters who breaks the tackle, spins away, gets outside. Washington finally hauls him down at the 33. First down, San Francisco. Well, I tell you, Waters impresses me. I, I haven't seen much of him, obviously. And what little I had seen uh, didn't seem to give me this much ability. But, boy, this kid can run. Now Rice goes out to the left side. Young to throw. He gets it to Jerry here at the 45. He cuts to the outside. He's got blocking. Downfield he goes with Waters in front helping. And finally out of bounds at the 32-yard line. Oh, boy. Classic, oh boy. classic 49ers offense. A slant for about 10 yards. Then he ran the entire width of the football to let a wedge form. It was like a kickoff return at that point, and he got it all the way down to the uh, Cowboys. Where are they going to spot this thing? At the 33-yard line. So far, both times in this ball game, when Dallas scored, the Niners came right back on their next possession and scored. And it looks like they're apt to do it again here. Second and seven, 29-yard line. Water split out wide to the right side. He's up against Kenneth Gant. Young drops back to throw. He's in a lot of trouble. He uh, scrambles away from everybody but Casillas. Casillas drops him at the 33-yard line. He got underneath somehow. How does he Three get away? Three Cowboys. I don't know how he got away from that bunch. Tolbert certainly appeared to have him. Like it. Being in a grease pig contest out there trying to get it down. So an important play here for San Francisco because even a field goal is very unlikely from this distance. It would be 48 yards. It's third and nine at the 31. Young straight back drop. Let's it go. Short pass. Left flat to Waters. And he came close to getting away from Gant but couldn't quite spring it. He did reach the 24-yard line. They're about a yard short. And will the 49ers go for the field goal or the first down? Here comes Kofer. Crowd doesn't like it, but they're going to do it anyhow. It's about two yards, almost a full two yards short. So it'll be about a 42-yard field goal attempt. Don't think they were, when that boo you just heard, I don't think it was a boo because of Kofer. I think it was a boo because they wanted, wanted Seifert to, to go for the first down on fourth down. 42-yarder, left hash mark. Here's the snap. Here's the kick. As the distance, good. And so San Francisco's back within four at 17 to 13. I always had this philosophy that every time you kick the field goal, you're just that much closer to losing. And I was afraid that we were kicking too many field goals. And, and field goals to me, especially in the second half, uh, that it's like kissing your sister. It's not going to help you too much. the opening kickoff here in the second half and march to a touchdown. Now they've got their second possession and a four-point lead, Brad, starting at their own 20-yard line. 6-16 left in the third. Wing right. Johnston motion left. Aikman, three-step drop, throws a slant, caught for seven yards. Michael Irvin's fifth catch of the day, 79 yards. Aikman is 15 of 23 for 178. And on second down, toss right, Smith. Great Johnston block and a nice defensive play by John Johnson, the linebacker, to knock him down short of the first down. 
at around the 28 and a half yard line. Johnson's a second year man from Clemson. They drafted him in the second round a year ago. And on, on some downs, they'll take out either DeLong or Walter and bring him in. And now they go to a nickel package, third and two. And you'd say this would be a pretty big play here, wouldn't you? Here's third and two at the Dallas 28. Big one here. Aikman going to throw right. Slant is caught by Irvin. First down up at the 37 yard line. And they know that's coming. Eric Davis is right there with him, and it's a perfect throw and catch. A gain of nine, first down. First down, Dallas with a four-point lead. Aikman straight drop to throw on first down. Great time. Floats it out. Johnston at the 40. And he's dragged down on the left sideline after a three-yard gain. Tackle is made by David Whitmore. Second and seven, Dallas at its 40, leading 17-13, 3.35 left in the third. Johnston again, motion left. Hand off Smith. Big hole as he cracks it up around the 44-yard line, and then the 49ers are able to fill it, and it's another big third down, third and three. Novacek motion right. Aikman, fake draw, bootleg right. No receiver. There's Novacek. Caught it first down to the 45 of the 49ers. Again, time on line. Little bit of a sprinkle. First and 10, Dallas. 206 left in the third. Aikman draw to Smith. Fell down in the mud. Here's second and 10 at the San Francisco 46. Straight drop by Aikman. Little pressure. Throws it on the run. Incomplete. The Cowboys have hit four out of eight third downs today. And here's a big third and 11. They've had two critical ones on this possession. And Aikman on third and long back and sets and throws it out. Smith underneath. 40 coming right. Breaks away. 35 and 31st down. Another big conversion on a floater underneath to Smith. You know, there's, there's a statement in big games that's always made. If we win on third down, we're going to win this game. There, you know, the second half, we didn't win on third down. 30 seconds left in the quarter. It's first down at the Niners, 32. Handoff, Smith. Lunges at guard. He turns. He pushes. Crawls on his belly like a snake. Down around the 27 yard. Well, you go back to the last play, Brad, and, and it was Emmett Smith making Pierce Holt miss the tackle, their best defensive player. Emmett gets 15 yards and about, as I said, eight or nine of them on his own. It was a little underneath pass, and the Cowboys are going to take a four-point lead to the fourth quarter, playing for the right to go to the Super Bowl in Pasadena. And I hope you're stocked up with chips, dip, and cold ones. We're going to be here all day. Welcome back to San Francisco where it started raining again. One quarter away from the Super Bowl and the Cowboys are second down and eight at the 29 of the Niners. Johnston motion left, slot right. Aikman back to throw, looking left. Floats it underneath Smith at the 28-25. Slips away, first down. And stayed in bounds just outside the 20. That was the 11th play of a drive that finished the last six and a half minutes of the third quarter. It's the best defense they can have is to keep the football. The third quarter was a frustrating time because we, need to, we needed more opportunities for the football because of what we'd already done to mess up. And then I think that led to, you know, the fourth quarter, which was uh, definitely something that was became a, a pressing situation. First and 10 at the San Francisco 20. Wing right, handoff Smith. Lead block, Johnston and Novacek. He's got five yards. And slow to get up, Emmett Smith, who's had quite a day. He's got 80 yards. He's also caught the ball six times for 41. He is the workhorse and the, and the load the load lifter, isn't he? You know, uh, and he deserves everything he's going to get in the next year or two from Cowboys owner Jerry Jones, and it's going to be a bundle. It's it, going to be a bundle. It is second down, about four and a, and a skosh right now at the 15-yard line. Splits coming, handoff, Smith coming right. Eric Williams a block. Smith took it to the 11-yard line and appears to have another first down. How big would a touchdown be here? Well, that's what I was just sitting here thinking. As the clock continues to run away, you're looking at that field goal by the 49ers a moment ago, shifting the way the game may play itself out in the fourth quarter because they're sitting on a four-point lead. A touchdown would take it to 11, and then you're looking at two touchdowns that the 49ers would need in the fourth quarter to get back in front. And, of course, that's assuming they can find a way to stop the Cowboys, and they haven't been able to do it here in the second half. Here is third down and one. They didn't get the first down, so how big is this at the 11? Third and one out of the eye, and the right guard, Giesick, fired off. 
off and went offside. And now instead of third and one, it's third and six, and a lot has just changed. Well, it was Giesig who flinched. He jumped the count early, and instead of a third down, which was an easier first down play, it's about third and six here now, Brad. At the 16, and they need the 10. Slot right, Aikman back, he's pressured. He throws it out, Smith's there, he's got the first down, coming right to five. Irvin's block, puts it in. Emmett Smith carries it in. Another third down conversion, and it's touchdown Dallas with 12-25 remaining in the NFC Championship game. Well, I don't understand why the 49ers would allow Emmett Smith to come out of that backfield untouched, but nobody follows him. He was open because of the attention that the other guys were getting it, uh, is really what it was. And uh, Emmett was he, he he was not the primary guy on the on the play. And, and we're just trying to we're trying to get the ball into the end zone. But again, they were dropping everybody uh, underneath those those people. So we got the ball to Emmett and he was able to get in for a touchdown. When it came down to passing, they was out of there. So it left me underneath wide open and, uh, and I took full advantage of it. And only 12 and a half minutes to play in the game. The kick is good. It is 24 to 13. There's a timeout. We'll be back. Well, there's little doubt that uh, the heat is growing enormously hot on the 49ers, who with only 12 and a half minutes to go and need to score two touchdowns to get the lead back. And uh, the 49ers have to start out at their own 15 yard line, down by 11. Taylor. And Sherrard come out to the left, Jerry Rice out to the right. I'm really surprised the 49ers, though, haven't challenged the defensive backs more than they have. Just gone right at them. Here's Young with a pass over the middle, and it's caught out at the 23-yard line by Brent Jones, who has been absent from the offense since the first quarter. Despite Jones's re-entry into the offense, the 49ers, now in catch-up mode, proved easy prey for a swarming Cowboy defense. Faced with relentless pressure, the league's top-ranked passer was forced into a split-second decision. Intercepted by Norton at the 40 to the 45 left of midfield to the 45-yard line of San Francisco. And Ken Norton Jr., the leading tackler on the leading defense, comes away with the ball, and the Cowboys have it back with an 11-point lead and 10-18 to play. 45 yards away from the San Francisco end zone with their third turnover of the day. With a short field, the Cowboys offense mounted yet another impressive drive before forcing Dallas's coach, Jimmy Johnson, into a career decision. Fourth and one at the San Francisco seven, and they're gonna go for it here. Oh my goodness. Oh, what a what a decision by Jimmy Johnson. They're passing up the field goal, and the Cowboys are going to go for the first down. Boy, if this doesn't work, and it costs oh. him the game, oh. Jimmy Johnson is second-guessed all the way until his grave. Fourth and one at the seven out of the eye formation. As big a play as you can have at this moment of the contest. They give it to Smith, slants to the right side, and I don't know. They got him in a hurry. Good tackle by Michael Walton. I don't think so. He didn't get it. And instead of kicking a field goal, a chip shot that would have given him a two-touchdown lead, the Cowboys went for it on fourth and one. They appear not to have made it, and the 49ers are still down 11 with 7.06 still to be played. You know, San Fran played to play well and uh, we couldn't get to two yards, and I'm not even sure if we got to one yard. <laughs> so, so uh, you know, it was a tough call, but uh, we had to live with it. I don't know about that one. Ooh, ooh. Wow. Jimmy Johnson has brought this team, and let's be fair, right, and not right. just trying to kiss up to Jimmy Johnson, but let's be fair, he's brought this team from 1-15 and 15 to this position by doing things that are not in the book. Well, we've always felt like that it's uh, in our best interest to take risk. We want to be aggressive and we want to play the percentages, but by the same token, uh, we've seen too many teams be conservative and, and come up short uh, when the opportunity is there. Okay, first and ten for San Francisco. Their worst field position of the entire day. Seven minutes to play. They trail 24 to 13. So if they win this one, it's going to be just as dramatic as Montana to Clark in 1982. I'll tell you that. With history on their side and 97 yards from the promised land, San Francisco's offense began chipping away at the stunned Dallas defense.
With a seemingly substantial lead slipping away with every first down, the Cowboys were left wondering if lightning could strike twice. It's not a question of if now, it's a question of when, isn't it, for them to score? Well, you would think so, but uh, I'm already thinking ahead since I'm not going to be on the charter going back. If the Cowboys were to lose this, who wants to walk up and ask Jimmy Johnson about that fourth down? I will. I'll be happy to. Take a parachute. Waters in the backfield. Gerard in motion to the right. Young drops back to throw. A lot of pressure. Gets the ball away. Caught. Touchdown, 49ers. Slant along the goal line to Jerry Rice right out in front of a linebacker, surprisingly yeah. enough. Mickey Pruitt. Covered by the linebacker all the way. You feel like, okay, things are getting ready to change now. And uh, you feel like you put some points on the board. And uh, here we go. Uh, you know, this is a typical uh, San Francisco offense. Uh, and. Uh, and everything is getting ready to go the right way. It made us feel like ourselves again. And you know, we kind of, third quarter didn't have the ball a lot. Second quarter, we kind of, you know, the fumble and the mess ups and the penalties. We start, like, okay, now we're by ourselves. But unfortunately, it's the fourth quarter. But it took that long to kind of start to feel like our offense was clicking. And I guess we all were just hoping it wasn't too late. We got the 49ers within four. Here's the kick. It's up. It is good. Timeout. 422 to play in the game. And a five-yard touchdown pass to Rice gives the Niners hope now, but they must stop Dallas on their next possession. And now Jimmy Johnson's offense has got to make a couple of first downs. If you give them the ball back with two minutes on the clock, they can go down the field and score and win the football game. The Cowboys might not only need to burn time, they might need points, Brad. Yeah, you're right. Like the three they passed up. The Cowboys have Kevin Smith back as Kofer hits a pooch kick, and Smith runs up under it at the 10. Left at the 15. No hole, a dip and a dodge to the 20. Dallas 80 yards away with 4.14 left to play. The 49ers ask the crowd for some support. Boys and girls, we got us a classic. Well, you told me last night the Cowboys win 24-20. It's Cowboys 24-20 right now. 4-14 to play in this football game, and the Cowboys come out for the biggest drive in probably 12 years. They scored. They, they took nine minutes to score on the drive at the third and fourth quarter. They need some of that now. At the 21st down, Aikman is going to throw. Deep slant. Caught. 35. Harper's breaking away. Harper's got midfield. Harper's got the 30. Harper's got the 20. Harper's got the 10-yard line before he's run down out of bounds at the 9. Wow. Oh, my, what a play. <laughs> my uh. goodness, what a play. You know the 49ers have got to be looking for three things. They've got to look for Emmett Smith. Then they've got to look to Michael Irvin. Then they've got to look to Jay Novacek. And Alvin Harper comes across the field basically uncovered. He's wide open. Aikman delivers it perfectly. Down to the nine-yard line it goes. I was with Alvin Harper's brother yesterday who flew in for the game. He was in the hotel lobby. He was signing autographs saying he's Alvin Harper, not Bobby Harper. He's Alvin again tonight. Yeah. I'm on the phone with North Turner, and North says, well, Jimmy, what do you want to do? You want to, you know, try to, you know, run the ball, throw it? I said, we've got to pick up the first down. He said, well, we can throw the slant. Uh, and we actually thought it was going to go to Michael Irvin, but Alvin Harper and uh, Michael changed sides of the field. He wanted to be more involved, especially when the game on the line. That, that, you know, that was Michael's nature. So I call the play. He tells Alvin, switch sides so now we got Michael or we got Alvin running the, the post and Michael thought the ball was going to come to him because that's where I'd thrown it every time we'd call the play and so he went and took Alvin's place and as I'm walking up to the line of scrimmage I see that they're going to blitz us we're going to get the one-on-one -on -one matchup to the post I was uncertain as to whether or not Alvin would would run the route and get across the corner's face I knew Michael would but Michael Michael wasn't there anymore and uh, so at the last minute right before the snap I just said hey I'm gonna trust this guy and I'm gonna let it loose and uh, and Alvin ran a great route he got across the corner's face and then as luck would have it the safety uh, slipped and then Alvin's able to run it uh, 77 yards. First down Dallas with Aikman play action fake bootleg right to Johnston who dropped the ball at the five. The wet ball went right through his hands. He had a half a step on Dana Hall, the safety. Up under center, Aikman. Less than four minutes from a Super Bowl. 
Martin, slot right, motion left on second and goal at the nine. Play a handoff, Smith cutting behind Novacek, got two yards near the seven. Might have fought his way down around the six. Is it four down territory, guys? No, <laughs> no, read my left. Fourth down, you kick. I thought we had already made that clear. <laughs> It's a classic. Oh, man. It's an absolute classic. 3.48 left to play in the game. It's third and goal at the six. Slot right, tight end right, one setback. Crowd is really into it. Aikman, a straight drop, good protection. Over the middle. It's caught by Kelvin Martin at the two. Knifing to the goal line. Touchdown. Touchdown, Cowboys. This team's going to Pasadena. This football team is going to Pasadena. The Cowboys coaching staff is exchanging handshakes. Let me recap something for you, Brad. 1982, January 10th, it was third down when Joe Montana in the other end zone threw the pass to Dwight Clark for the touchdown to win the game. 11 years and one week later, it's third down. They're at the same six-yard line. This time, it's Troy Aikman going the other direction. He throws it to Kelvin Martin for the touchdown, and the Cowboys are going to a Super Bowl. Looking at a replay, if there was instant replay in the NFL, they might bring this back. The nose of the ball, Brad, looking at a replay here. Kelvin Martin dives, and the nose of the ball hits the chalk. It was a touchdown, but it was about an inch, maybe two. Elliott's extra point. High snap. The kick is blocked. Wow. A very high snap from Hellestray. Burline barely able to pull it down, and no wonder Elliott's extra point was blocked. So it's still pretty interesting here because it's 10 points with 343. And it, you know, if you go down the field in a hurry, you get Don't a touchdown, then a me. field goal <laughs> now. You may have spaketh to soon. Don't do this to me. It's a 10-point game. 30 to 20. Dallas leads by 10 with 343 to play. And it just isn't a much better entertainment dollar value than what people are being treated to today. The uh, kick comes from the 50-yard line because of the uh, uh, personal foul penalty on the 49ers. And Elliott will boom this one easily. In fact, this is uh, almost a... Did he put that through the uprights? I think he hit it left. Yeah, yeah. Again, missed another one. But anyway... Uh, San Francisco will start out at their 20-yard line. Three and a half minutes to go. First and 10 out of the 20-yard line. And they use a draw to Waters on first down, and he gets out to the 30. He's grabbed there and pulled down by Kevin Smith with some help. But running the ball wouldn't be enough, and Steve Young became an easy target for the potent Dallas pass rush. Young up under center with 207. Young straight drop with 204. Throws it deep middle intercepted by James Washington to the 30, to the 40, to the 44. It's just a matter of running it out. The Cowboys coaches have left long ago from uh, the booth next to it. It's a remarkable climb. The Dallas oh, Cowboys in the Super Bowl for the first time since 1979, January of 79. And here on this stage where their biggest heartbreak in certainly the last 15 years came. And you know who I'm so happy for? Bill Bates, Mark Tuane, Jim Jeffcoat, Jeff Jeff the Cowboys who spent all those years in what they thought was going to be glory and then it turned out to be frustration and now there's another game to play. Oh yeah, the NFC Championship, baby. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. NFC champions, folks. From 1-15 in 89 to the Super Bowl four years. That's unbelievable. An unbelievable story. And the Cowboys have taken that first step to becoming the uh, team of the 90s. They beat the San Francisco 49ers to go to the Super Bowl to play Buffalo 30-20. to 20. Hey, oh, and, and I don't, oh, hold it. I don't mean to put a damper on it. But you understand, we do have a winning record. Yeah, we do. But you understand, we do have one game left to play. Yeah. Hey, fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Every single one of you. Everybody, you did one hell of a job. And the only thing else I got to say is, how 
I never thought about the Super Bowl. I mean, I didn't even, I really didn't even give any consideration that if we win this game, we're going to be in the Super Bowl. Getting the Super Bowl was just the minimum. You know, there's this much of a difference. You get, getting to the Super Bowl is the minimum. Winning the Super Bowl is the, the maximum. But that's how much difference it is between what is good enough and what's not good enough. And so the championship game to me was a must. I had to win this game. This was probably, uh, probably was the beginning of something that everybody been wanting for a long time. When you go one and 15 and you come the road which we, we traveled, at that point in time, there was no turning back for us because we never experienced it, we never tasted it, and there was our first experience and our first taste, and we won it.